Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a new series I'm doing called uh, What's What's in the Barn. Uh, today I've got a really special guest. Uh, he's been around the Mazda rotary scene for 20 plus years. Iconic Melbourne car. Um, if you're in, yeah, if you're into the Melbourne rotary scene, you'll definitely know this car. He's just updated it with a turbo setup. He's always run big ported uh, motors. So uh, let's see what's in the barn. Come on out, brother. So you've had this car, what, 18 years? Yeah, roughly about that, yeah. So you're an OG of the Mazda scene? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A yeah. true legend? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've known this car to always have big ported motors. So go, tell us a bit about sort of some of the drive line you've, drive lines you've ran in this. Um, look, I just had an R5 yep. block, the old RX4 block with the Weber. Yep. Um, but you've always liked your big, what was it, monster yeah, ports? Yeah, big, loud and rowdy. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, drove around that for a while. Then a good mate said, go fuel injection. So yep. I did that. Didn't yep. want to. Yeah. Don't like all the electrics and all that kind yep. of, you know. Yeah. Um, went fuel injection, loved it. More responsive, good on fuel. Yep. Um, yeah. and, and now you've just... Came that for a while and then did water seals after a good six years of caning. Yep. And, um, now you've uh, now you've got a something a bit different. Do you want to pop the bonnet and? Yes, I've gone to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, how could you, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, true. So I had to step it up a bit. Now, if you guys can sneak that on the right-hand side, you'll see a little turbo. 
Look, I've had Rexies as dailies and stuff like that. Um, yep. Didn't know a lot about turbos, so I thought, well, the way to learn is to do it. Yep. So... 100%. A couple of mates guided me, but um, did all the manifolds, did everything. Yep. Uh, made a few mistakes, but, you know, that's, that's that, how you learn, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. And it looks real neat set up. So, it's all tucked, all tucked in, dumps nice. Probably get in there. But, yeah. So, what is it? It's a Series 4 block? Yep. Just dowled. It is a Series 4 block, yep. Yep. Shot a few people. Yep. TO4. Pretty standard. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a pretty standard turbo. You always had you always had Simmons on it. Yeah. Was it V4s? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always wanted combos. Yeah. So I got these off an RX7 drag car. Yep. Um, they're the old combos. Yep. The remakes. Yep. I had to shorten the diff to get them on. Yep. See, a nice little bit of dish in there. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> No one ever wants to know. You got little teacups in there. Yeah, that's yeah. also a new addition. You know, when you have a car for so long, you get bored. You got to sort yeah. of change a few things. Yep. So thank God for eBay. <laughs> so um, who built the motor and who who tunes it for you? Um, so a good mate, Pete. Yep. Um, that used to own Rank Rotary. Yep. Built the motor. Yep. Um, looked after me. Um, did the tuning. Yep. Put the computer in for me. Yep. I've I've tried to do as much as I could building the car i'm one of those guys where you know yeah tried at home but looking at the computer and all the wiring scared me a bit yep it's a bit harder than a microtech i went adaptronic yep um stoked with it you are happy with yep. it so pete did the motor for me you're keeping the og gauges on the yeah <laughs> yeah because you get used to it you know it's right in your face man like yeah. you know oil and and temp yep um yeah, this yeah I, I like the old, i like the old school look that's why i blacked out the cooler and yeah Oh, you have blacked out the cooler? Let's have a quick yeah, look. So yeah, you can't. Yeah, perfect. can't tell the turbo till you hear it. Perfect. Well, even if you don't hear it, mate, it's quite loud, the colour, so you're going to see it. The colour's loud, but you, the you exhaust go, isn't. Yeah. You're going to see it. It's a bit different. How are you finding um, having the note a bit different? Because when it was ported, you could hear it before you see it. Oh, you know what? I plumbed the gate in and stuff like that because yeah. I thought I'll be gating it past coppers. Yeah. Um, I like it. Yep. Getting older, you can have a conversation in the car. Yep. You see coppers, you just keep driving, you know, when before you're like, ride the clutch, <laughs> keep it quiet. And you're not using 25 litres of fuel. No, no, <laughs> I took it to Bright yep. from uh, sort of Dandenong way to Bright. Yep. Got on to go there on one tank, I was happy with that. Yep. No, mate, you've got an absolutely beautiful beast. Oh, look, it's showing its age, but you know, I do drive it. Yep. Yeah, I see you out and about a bit. You're always sort of at a at a show or doing something. So, but what an you keeping the antenna, mate? The also the OG antenna. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's an eighty. That's an eighties, mate. That's how you can tell how long he's had the car. Look at that. That's just absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it's showing its age. It's up for a respray, but you know what? Just drive it and enjoy it. Do you want to uh, give us a quick look at the interior? Ah. Uh, the interior is pretty, yeah. It's pretty clean. No, nah, not really. <laughs> like, where do you stop? I'd like to redo it. Yep. So, um. Mate, if that's pretty clean. So I don't it's know got where, what I need. I don't know where you're going. It's got what I need. The seats are nice. It's not, it, dash is neat. Mickey Mouse. Got the OG door trims. Yeah, I just put them on actually because I had shitty old material <laughs> ones on me, mate, for nagging me. When you go on, um. When you're putting a 20 inch FRs and pack nah, sticker, and nah, come nah. on mate, you already got turbo. The parachute on the back on the street. It's not in the budget. Hey? It's not in the budget. Nah? Nah. So you're pretty happy with where it's at now? Oh look, who wouldn't like mini tubs and stuff like that? But yep. like I said, it's not in the budget. Where do you draw the line, you know? Yep. Um, but it just keeps going, doesn't it? That's it. But it's absolutely credit to you, mate. Thank you. Credit to you. It's good too to see people that hold on to their cars. We were just talking before how like, like all the cars yeah. if we would have kept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good and to what see. they're worth now. Yeah, it's good to see you holding on to it. But yeah, so that's what was in the barn. So yeah, thanks for coming out. We're yeah, going to no whack a few cameras in the car and go on a little cruise. It is on a running tune. Yeah. So um, he's already backpedaling. No, nah, it is on a running tune. <laughs> Sorry, so. Pete, he's already backpedaling. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I won't be going crazy, but I'll give it a squirt here and there. Yeah. It's, um, all right, so we'll get. So Pete, Pete reckons it's good for 400. 
Yep. Um, yeah, it feels like it. So, but you know what? It gets the numbers it gets. It's more in driving the car and having fun. Yep. And, you know, I mean, everyone wants to get a certain number. I struggled a little bit with NA trying to get the number I wanted. So, you got to rev it to 25,000 RPM. Oh, I think that was. <laughs> I think that's what the problem was. <laughs> oh, man. Thanks again for coming out. Yeah, Appreciate no it. No, I've, thank I've, you. I've loved this car forever, ever since I had my beast. But, um, but yeah, let's whack some cameras in the car. We're going on a little cruise. Yeah, Maybe cool. head down the beach or something. Go to the servo, I think. Yeah, I need a classic fill up. rotary. Yeah, no, it's, not, it's not too bad. Just um, I was too keen to get here. Yeah, fair <laughs> keen to get the film done. Ah, oh, yeah. No, all right. Let's. Uh, I'll stop it there, and next time you see us, we'll be cruising the streets. Yeah, sweet. We've just fueled up. Rocky got a bit confused with the premix. I think he's put about two liters of. Hey Pete, he's got two liters of uh, premix to five liters of um, ninety one. That's cool, yeah. It's all good, Pete. No, I've, I've worked it out now. I'm just gonna take you guys on a little cruise down the beach. Two days later, you were lowering it. You're off dragging up and down Princess Highway. <laughs> Some lowering blocks. Yeah, what is this car doing? hasn't realised you can't turn from this lane, you've got to turn from that lane. Yeah, we're just taking you guys down St Kilda Way. Got a beautiful day for it. I think we've got a fun market around here. 